So, hello and welcome everybody. Today's interview is with myself. I'm Shalia Stevens from ShaliaStevens.com where we teach you how to bring your expertise online and reach more people. And I'm speaking today with Mary Claire Hermans from Belgium. And she is um, a coach, an energy coach. She's gonna tell you more about that. And, with, and her website is ravishingraw.com. Welcome Mary Claire and thanks for coming to the interview today. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm so happy to be here, really. Great, awesome. So you, you know already, but the people who are listening in don't know yet, but this week I'm interviewing experts. And what we're talking about in these interviews on the one hand are how to use the online space to grow your business, but also to serve your clients. And what I'm particularly interested in lately because I'm working on a book around the subject of webinar marketing is how different experts around the world are using the online space, but particularly webinars in their business. And I wanted to talk with you about all of those things today. That's the spectrum of our conversation. That's exciting. I love yeah. it. Yeah, Good. really. Okay, so Mary Claire, you call yourself an energy coach for experts. And one of your main areas of expertise or the, one of the main instruments that you use in your work is raw food, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you also, I know about you because, you know, you and I work together because I'm, I'm totally convinced by what you, what you do that I know that you help your clients to fuel their bodies for, for success. And I really wanted to hear out of, you know, your own mouth from the horse's mouth is what we say in English. <laughs> like, can you explain to us what this means exactly and who you help and what you're helping them to achieve? Yes, of course. So my clients, the clients that turn to me are mostly high performing professionals, yeah. meaning they are having a business as an entrepreneur, a manager, or they are um, performing artists, jazz musicians, for instance, and um, they, they are running that rat race, you know, they, they are running against time, they have constant deadlines, um, they are running into themselves, of course, after a while, you can do that for a while, but it won't be without paying the price, and that price is their health and those health issues, they start popping up on the way, you know, and they're very vague at the beginning. It's just fatigue or they, they get more headaches or they, have, they are getting overweight. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, also a symptom of being in overdrive, of course. Yeah. And they all have that kind of same um, issues uh, going on like fatigue, uh, burning out, and uh, they lost their clarity, they're losing their focus. They can't be pr productive anymore, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And they are high performers on high levels. So when they come to me, they really want to, they come with we, me with the question, how can I elevate my energy? Because yeah. I want to be, I have to give the best of myself every day, but I can't anymore. And my opinion is that when you are a high performer, when you are an entrepreneur, whatever it is that you do in your profession, you need a top condition. You yeah. are a top athlete, yeah. actually. Yeah. That's the energy that you need to be doing, to be the best version of yourself, to, to serve your clients at the best of your potentials. Yeah. So for top condition, uh, for top to be at the top of your game, let's say, you need that top condition. And that is what I teach my clients, how they can elevate their energy, how they can uplift their uh, levels to that top condition. And my tool to do that, the strategy I use is raw food diet and self-management because okay. that's connected to the raw food diet. Okay, raw yeah. food diet and self-management are the instruments, mm -hmm. so it's like how you help yes. them to reach that high performance that they need to yeah. reach. Yes. Okay. okay. So, you know, you live in Belgium, which I said to the beginning of the conversation, mm -hmm. I'm calling you today from Zurich. Yeah. And, you know, you work with clients from around the world. Um, mm -hmm. I know that about you. I mean, you and I work together on, on that on that level, right? Across yeah. the space, uh, not necessarily across time so much, but across the space. Mm -hmm. So our listeners might not expect from a coach in general, but especially a coach who works with the main interested instrument of raw food and with self-management, 
that you are able to, you know, work with your clients uh, across space. And, you know, I know, you know, really because we had a VIP day recently and I yes. drove, you know, the hours to your house mm-hmm. and I was in your kitchen and, you know, we looked at all of the, the foods and the yummy stuff yeah. and the smells and the taste and everything like that. And so, you know, it was really yummy. And um, mm-hmm. at the same time, I, you know, we, we work also in different ways. So maybe you can talk a little bit about how you work with clients abroad. Um, what does working with your clients look like over this distance? Mm. Yeah, I understand uh, your question very well. And of course, uh, the taste is very important and especially when you don't know anything yet about raw food what was in your case you really jumped in the program with so much faith not knowing what would what you could expect no no? idea (laughs) yes but you know what i love coaching in a personalized way so every uh, vip coaching client i get they always get something on top they don't know that when we start working, but yeah. I love giving something extra that they need at that moment. Yeah. And it's different for everyone. Uh, now, how? so for you, it was that live VIP yeah. day because you were living, well, not too far away, uh, three or four hours driving. Yeah. Also, it's, it's still doable. Now, for those who are across the ocean, that's yeah. another story. Another issue entirely. Yeah, but we work on Skype and Skype has that, huge advantage of having a camera so I can show them just anything you know and what I do then when they need it we set up a virtual VIP day over Skype or Google Hangout that's another tool there's so much technology available right now that those borders are no limits anymore there are no limits anymore so we can resolve those issues by technology so I just show them everything they want to know and we make things together. I show them, they make it in their kitchen. So it's a nice connection. We still have that same vibe going on as we had on the VIP day. Or I give them assignment when they have to set up their kitchen, for instance, they have to clean out cupboards. I give them an hour and then we connect again. Okay. You know, I think I, I might need a little longer to clean out my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. but no, but that's a good start. Yeah, because you want to get them going, right? Yeah, getting yeah. going so they get the concept. And you can throw out a lot in an hour. <laughs> yeah, Talk you can eat them. a lot in an hour, you can throw out a lot in an hour. <laughs> it's that speed of implementation that really uh, catapults them forward, you know? And so we use technology really and sometimes I just tell them well pull open your fridge and let's look what's inside and what we can make with that because that is what is so um, inspiring what you have uh, healthy foods of course that you have in your fridge but often people don't know how do I start here you know and then we we get started without recipes so it's very interesting to do that and everything is possible you know I love that I love that you know and and I you know that I work with some other coaches as well who are dancers and teaching movement coaching or some people who are therapists who bring performance artistry into their programs and I think what a lot of people who don't use these medium know is that you know there's so many possibilities and if you if you believe in your heart that you know anything's possible in the online space you mm-hmm. will have the idea like let's take the Skype laptop into the kitchen and open oh, up yeah. your fridge and look together or let's do a movement coaching where we can see a dance from on Google Hangouts I mean that's that's the beauty right oh yes yes and so many things are uh, so many programs are on DVD you know we are used to the technology yes. so this is nothing new yeah it's just a different way to do it but it's it doesn't mean that it is less valuable it yeah. really adds a lot of value uh, to coaching calls absolutely and you know another thing that I wanted to ask you about because you know I've just been I've, I, I, I use this in my own coaching as you know when I'm the coach and I have a coachee but I really love the way you also use the time between our Skype calls so maybe you can tell them uh, the, our listeners a little bit about like what you do to serve your clients between the Skype calls because we're we're exchanging all, you know, like a lot right yes every day, every day. so <laughs> we uh, I created a Facebook page for you a group 
let's say where you have your private space it's a secret space uh, secret and sacred secret space and sacred. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's only for you and I put up there every day you 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 are posting your pictures there I change the the front I love uh, every day <laughs> just to keep you inspired and then in that vibe of something's moving here something's happening yeah. and I'm making big shifts even if they are baby steps we're, we're yeah. making now yeah. uh, towards your goals but this is huge I mean this is how we stay in contact and it's so much fun you know we, we can exchange if you have a challenge you can just let me know you can throw it up on your page I'm there in a moment to help you yeah. move forward same can happen with emails yeah. uh, but I especially love the, the Facebook uh, I group. I do too. You yes. know what I love about it? I love, you know, I, I take a snapshot of the green smoothie and I post it up there and, yeah. you know, I'm proud that I'm, I'm able to keep up with, you know, the program and I and you give me positive feedback or, you know, you post a recipe for a dressing for me to try at night or, you know, when I'm struggling, you know, I get a headache and you're, you're telling me about the mindset things and yeah. about the, you know, the detoxing and things like that. I, I, I love that it's visual and I love that it's, it's, interactive and, and immediate over over the day I really love that yes and I'm a visual very visual person and very practical so yeah. I love it when I can just put in things there as they come like this is what you can do I'm such a fixer I know but uh, <laughs> not everybody likes that but that's what moves you forward you know you have a challenge and I say this is how you can fix it do this do that and then you know and it's really short on the ball yeah. I mean I can really follow up very closely and that's how we uh, connect really I also have a jigsaw box which means it's also a sacred space where I can upload all the documents all the files audio video when I have it and where the client can come in and they anytime even long after the program has has ended they can still return to that space which is also especially um, organized for them yes. because I only put in there what they need at that moment so they don't become overwhelmed yes, because I, I don't want the overwhelm uh, there so that's another uh, way I interact in between and I have coaching questions up there it's it's a different kind of working and I just adjust it to what people feel like the most you felt like I want to do this on Facebook so yeah that's, yeah because yeah, I have a lot of trust you know I know that you can you can close those groups to make them private and some people yeah. are worried about that so they'd rather not you know work in Facebook they'd rather work on jigsaw box because it's just completely yes. separate and you know, kind of locked up. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so, so many tools actually. To yeah, and you and you use a lot of them. I mean, we could probably could talk another you know oh, hour yeah. about all yeah, the stuff. Yeah. Like you know, <laughs> uh, when you when you started, uh, you know, the juice fast. You know, that go those automatic emails that go out every day with the coaching motivation. But um, we'll get to that because that's my next mm -hmm. question. So. What I wanted to talk about was because I know, you know, what we just talked about was the one-on-one -on -one client coachee context, right? So I know you use the, the, the online space for that. But I also know that you work with groups. And um, one thing that is going on right now that just started is your Ravishing Spring Juice Fast, yes. where you're going to be working, you know, with some people over a couple of weeks. I think it's three weeks all together. Yeah. And, you know, I thought maybe you could tell us about, you know, how do you work with groups online as opposed to working with people one-on-one? -on -one. What is the difference and what do you, what in technology and methodology? Well, not that much difference uh, except for I have a master class every week mm -hmm. because I really want to educate them on how to juice successfully yes. and how to be safe on a juice fast because so many people start juicing and they don't know what they're doing mm -hmm. uh, and it's so much more than just drinking juices you know Absolutely. a cleanse is so much more than that but not many people realize it so what I do is I want to educate them and teach them how they do it exactly and it is so valuable because this is the content that they get but they have it for their whole life long because it's so uh, it's something that they can apply again and again and again with next right. juice fast program so right. what I do on that master master class I use instant teleseminar for that okay. so that's a place where 
um, 20 live callers can come on the line and over 200 people can come on to the webcast to listen in for free because if it's worldwide I want them to have the opportunity to listen in for free and uh, that's what they can do and then they can admit, uh, submit their questions and I have each time I have a Q&A session at the end of the call and where I can, they can call in live and I, we can talk about the questions and I, I can answer everything. So this is a very valuable tool as well right. where I can gather larger groups yeah. to, to help them move forward, to teach them everything. So they are set up for success for the next week that's coming. Right. And then every day they get uh, an email when they wake up. It's in their email box. Uh, so I asked them to read that first. It's very supportive with the next step for that day, yes. another recipe, and they can get going, you know, for that day. And they really value that a lot. Yeah. This is why everybody uh, can hold on to the fast because of these emails. And they are automated as well. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because yeah. I saw they were really beautiful. They had a nice HTML Thank you. layout. They looked yes. really good. And, you know, so maybe you can tell our listeners, like, what what it means to have an automated email as opposed to you sending out an email every you know every day that you have to remember yeah that's what i used to do in the past so every day i would sit behind my computer and start typing and somehow i loved writing because i love writing yeah. but um, it became rather stressful to do it every day because sometimes it just didn't fit in my schedule anymore right. uh, because I'm busy yeah. so I I wanted to automate it it's still with just as much love but uh, in an easier way for myself because I love myself also yeah. <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> and that's for it well, right. you, you know you, you got it you got it to, in order to serve more people which you definitely want to do because you want to get you know what you do out there to as many people as possible you have to start automating those systems to take you know less of your one-on-one -on -one time that's oh, what yeah. the whole purpose is. so what I do now is when I have a juice fest program um, I set up all the emails for three weeks okay so I, I block time and I do that and I schedule the time for them, each one of them. So next day, next day, okay. during those 21 days, well, a little bit longer because I do want to follow up a little bit after right. the fast as well. Right. Uh, I don't drop them after. Okay. Okay. So there's so, some follow-up emails that come Yes, yeah. that's important as mm -hmm. well yeah. to just keep in touch and and see and hear about their results right. you know that's that's what is important for me as well so that's how I do it and uh, I use constant contact for that okay use constant contact yes. so just to sum it up for the you know, our listeners so when you're working with a group the technology changes a bit changes a bit so you you move from Skype which you know you can you can meet with groups on Skype you know three mm -hmm. four people up to ten um, so, but you move to the instant teleseminar where you're you're working with larger groups, where you're doing a teleseminar, where they're hearing you speak. You know, you change from you know Facebook or Jigsaw Box and individual emails to automated system, which you're doing with constant contact. So, you know that you can kind of save leverage your time and, and replicate yourself on a, on a different level. Yes, actually, I clone myself in, in, yeah. in a certain way, you know. I love that idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know what's interesting about Instant Teleseminar? I want to add that. I can make MP3s of those calls. So it's going all over the world. So there are different time zones. And not everybody is able to listen when I'm calling in at 9 p.m. at my time. Right. I do it in the evening. But um, so I re uh, make a recording of it and I, may, I turn it into an MP3 call and I send link out so they can listen at their own pace, you know, when, when the time that's is not too awesome. That is really so, awesome. So that's like, that's, that's kind of killing two birds in one stone. So on the one hand, you're helping them to span the time zones. Um, so they don't have to get up, you know, if they're in Australia at 3 a.m. to listen to you speak. And it's also the same thing going back to leveraging your time because you're doing the recording once. And if yes. it's a really good recording, then you can use it for the next juice fast that comes yes. up. And you don't have to, you know, show up personally yourself. You just have to set it up, right? Yes, yes. I, I love yes. that. Like, <laughs> everything should work like that. <laughs> well, I do like, I do love the live vibe of a juice fast yeah. call so I do that always live but you are right I can uh, take those recordings when they're good and turn them into an e-course yeah. uh, where 
the price is less because they don't have the personal interaction with me, but they can, the people that are having trouble with the price can still afford it and they can do it by themselves with the recording. So that's a possibility. Oh, I yeah. love that idea. So a new yeah. idea, you know, like, a, a, you know, an e-course. That's awesome. Yes, yes. I love that. So I know also, and we want to get to the subject of webinars because that's something, you know, that I'm focusing on right now. Like okay. how do other people use webinar marketing to get themselves out there as an expert, to position their know-how, to create more visibility, but also, you know, in, in these webinars or teleseminars, um, which we'll, we'll get maybe to explaining what the difference is, it's about, you know, showing up as yourself as a person and creating the know, like, and trust factor that we're all looking for, right? And showing people our personality, but also what our expertise is. And so maybe you can tell us a little bit about how you use webinars as a marketing strategy, because I know you hold some, uh, I don't know if they're teleseminars or webinars, but um, some, I think, I can't remember the exact name, you'll tell me in a second, but like something about the mistakes people make when they're on a juice fast. Um, and then, so tell me how you, how that plays into your, to your strategy, your marketing strategy. So usually I get lots of questions from people. They're emailing me with questions and I always, I have a, a, a separate um, box for that where I gather them. And then after a while, you start noticing uh, similarities, you know. And then when spring arrives, everybody starts juicing, everybody is uh, posting pictures on Facebook, and then I see all these things happening. I think, oh no, they're doing <laughs> this. This is really not healthy the way they're doing it. And I, uh, I feel I have to share what I know about it. And that is always the moment to do a teleseminar. And I do them every month. Okay. So I, the first one I did two months ago. So I'm, I'm planning to do it every month. Uh, I have been doing interviews with um, raw food experts and the, the true world masters in juicing, like Jay Cordage oh, and wow. Linda Cordage, his wife. So uh, Jay Cordage is 90 now, and he's still teaching the world about how to juice. You know, okay. he's it's major. He's the juice daddy of America. Right. So I interviewed Steve Myrowitz or Steve Sproutman, is his other name. So those are real experts and uh, I learned a lot from them and those interviews were really nice to share with my clients and they loved it so but afterwards um, I thought I can do this myself you know I have so many things to share so what I did yeah when I see those mistakes happen I make it like a teleseminar where I educate again I love teaching and I love sharing what I know yeah. um, and that is what I do there so I pick a title that is really appealing to that to them and it's explaining right away what it's about like the top seven mistakes everybody makes when they go on a rough diet or the five top common mistakes when you go on a juice fast you know the mistakes that keep you from having the results that you expect yes yeah. and that is what people understand you know this right. language and this is how I teach them how to do it better right. they have free high value high content um, uh, yeah, how high content, high value that they get that they can apply immediately or they can uh, decide that they don't want to do alone, that don't want or don't can't do it right. alone. And then they can ask me for my help, of course. Okay. So that is included. In, so, you know, do you, when you, so when you're holding that webinar, you're giving that education, so the right, we call that yes. education-based marketing. So you're yes. giving them an education on something that is you know, relevant to them at this moment. Mm -hmm. And like you said, at the end, they can go like, okay, I'm taking that education, I'm going to do it. Um, or they want to work with you. So on your webinars, do you present the opportunity right away to work with you? Do you like literally say like, hey, um, if you want to continue and deepen this you know, knowledge with me or you, want, you don't want to do this alone, come on over here and let's talk about you know, how we can work together? Or how do you, how do you manage those, those uh, kinds of things in your webinars? I do, yes, I do talk about that and I haven't done webinars yet. Okay. I am growing towards it yeah. uh, because I'm very visual and I know many people are so I want to work with, I love making nice pictures of my stuff so I want to introduce them. Uh, so but that's the next step. So for now it's, it's teleseminars. But um, 
I do in, uh, implement that. I mean, I do include the possibility for them to come into coaching or to, to ask for help because I know how difficult it is to ask for help. Yeah. You know, I never asked for help yeah. before. Uh, well, I learned how to do it. And I know it's, uh, there are more people like me that are having difficulties. So I give them the opportunity to come to me and to ask it. So I do uh, tell them, there is a possibility or I have a juice fest coming, you know, and sometimes I just organize it. I set it up because I'm seeing so many things go wrong that I think they have to know about this. Yeah. So I create a program where the need is. Right. And of course, I want to offer it. And that's what I do in those teleseminars. Okay. So, in yeah. the, so for our listeners, the difference between a teleseminar and a webinar. So a teleseminar is primarily... Um, the audio channel, people listening in, yes. you, you speaking, and through the teleseminar, a lot of times they're dialing in via telephone, but sometimes also via uh, voice over IP on their headset on the internet. Mm -hmm. And a webinar is, you know, more visual, so you can you can bring in visual media like PowerPoint slides and screen sharing and videos that you show on the back end. But people may still be calling in via telephone and and you know via their headset on the computer. So, you know, you're, you're, you're holding teleseminars right now, which is very similar to webinars, and you are definitely giving them options of working with you at, at yes. you know, every time that you speak with them. So you might be leading them to one of your uh, online courses that is getting ready to go with the group. Mm -hmm. what, what about your private coaching? Do you sometimes lead them to the, like the Get Acquainted call, or what do you do about that? Yes, I, um, I remember that in the first one, the top seven mistakes everybody makes when they go on a raw food diet, I connected it really to my one-on-one -on -one coaching, my private coaching, because the concept of coaching is still something we have to get used to. Yeah. Many people have to get used to it. Right. And often they just don't know that it's available, you know, and this right. is why I talk about it. Now, I'm not the kind of saleswoman, uh, a hard saleswoman, I never liked that. Yeah. Uh, I have been working for over 20 years in fashion and I've been selling there. And, you know, we, the, the place to sell from has to be authentic. Yeah. That's what I love. You know, you when you sell something, it's not with the purpose to sell your product, but to serve people right. that need your services. Right. You know? right. And that is how that is my belief and that is the the place I work from so during a teleseminar I will talk about my coaching but it's not like you have to come into coaching yeah. you know yeah. it's their choice yeah. uh, if they want to come I'm happy if yeah. they don't if they decide it's not yeah. for them that's just as good for yeah. me yeah. but I want to tell them that it's there that they can make use of it yeah. and that it will serve them if they enter. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I love that. I love that you just said that because you know, you know we all struggle with that, right? It it doesn't matter if we're talking about our e-newsletter or our Facebook communication or our webinars. You know, a lot of us have this feeling that we don't want to make the offer and talk about what we do because it's too salesy. It doesn't uh, we don't, you know, we don't want to be bothersome. We're happy to give the education or the content, but we don't want to take it to the next step. And what I heard you say is if you approach it from the mindset of service and as from, and, and from your duty to you know let them know what availabilities are out there there for them to work with you and get help from you, if you come from that place, you know that you can softly kind of position it. But, um, yes. So that's a really good thing. And so what I wanted to ask you in in closing, and I don't even think this is um on here. Let me have a look. No, I don't. So. Yes. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I just go do spontaneous. <laughs> yes. So, so two well, maybe two questions. So one is when you when you look at all of the different things you do to let your potential clients know about your offerings, you know, from the, your social media communication to I know you do uh, you do a lot of blog writing yes. um, and a lot of things like that. You also hold these teleseminars. So how would you tell our listeners the difference um, in the effectiveness of, let's say, a blog article, which is just which is just a text, as opposed to a teleseminar where you're really spending a lot of time, you know, speaking and and people listening to you. What is your feeling about that as far as the the, the effectiveness of the or the quality difference in these types of um, marketing communications? 
You know, I really like making the combination. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want uh, to pick me, uh, me to pick one. No, 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 no. Uh, that would be difficult. Compare. Just compare. Yes. Just compare them. Yes, compare. So, but what I love about speaking is you are in direct contact and there is a vibration going on because the listeners on the other side of the screen at the other side of the ocean they're like oh you know I know that excitement that feeling of excitement it creates some kind of a vibe and it's really nice because they can call in live they hear your voice it's on a different level right now there are people you know I can describe it like this when I used to study I always used my three senses like I needed different kind of a combination to pick up everything right. and to learn so I did that by uh, studying out loud I was always speaking to myself and I was writing it down and um, I, I was kind of trying to practice it so those when you can uh, you combine several things you're the visual expert the audio expert uh, uh, as ex uh, aspect sorry <laughs> <laughs> that crazy english language <laughs> so then the the content stays with you right. so much easier and so much longer right. so uh, people some people are very visual others are very very um, focused on auditive so and this is why I use all the different kinds of ways to reach them and to build up that trust and that know and like factor, right. you know. Right. And um, writing is a, a way that many of my readers really love because I love writing. I'm a pretty good writer. I'm sorry to say this myself, but I know <laughs> how, I know how to write yeah. and how to make it appealing to them so I have my own style and they recognize themselves in that and I often get reactions like oh I loved your newsletter and it's always so um, so genuine and it comes from the heart so the combination is really perfect because then you reach all the different kinds of um, aspects that a person has right. and yeah they can read you on your on their iPhone or they can listen in while they're driving on the car right. on an MP3. So you're using all their... Right, right. Uh, so you're approaching them from all levels of, of preferences and learning styles. Yes. So I love that. And, you know, there there's some people, especially, or a lot of people actually out there, experts like yourself or myself, who they might want, they might be writing a blog because you know that keep, that that's something people do more easily. A lot of times, I notice when yes. I speak with my clients because you know they kind of can hide behind the screen and behind you know yeah. it's just a text and nobody sees them. When you put yourself out there with a tele seminar or webinar, you, you know you're you're exposing yourself in a whole different oh, way, yes. right? Oh, yes. And there are a couple things that hold hold the people back from doing it. One could be they just might not know who to invite. They don't have a big following yet. Um, or how to do that. Uh, other people are being held back. They're just, you know, the technologies, what do I use and, and whatever. Um, some other people get held back because they, you know, just don't, they have too many nerves, you know, they don't want to go in front of the camera. It just makes them feel yeah. sick to have to, you know, get up and speak to that invisible audience. So what would you, what would you say, what would you give tips, for, you know, for those, around those three things that I said, like how they might just go for it. What, 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 what were you, what, what about you? What did you experience? Did you experience these feelings and how did you overcome them? For example, I was so fearful for all of them. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Because I've been very ill for five years. I was lying, uh, in this small room before I, I changed it all. all. It, it's now my office, but I was lying in this small room for years isolated from everybody and the world because I couldn't do anything anymore. So at the moment that I healed myself through raw foods, by the way, um, and I knew I want to do something with this. I want to reach the world. But whoa, that was a challenge because I hadn't hardly seen anybody yeah. during all these years. That's and now I want to reach the world. How am I going to do that? So I had to show my face. And uh, I had become invisible yeah. due to this disease. Yeah. And now I had to become visible. So that was a huge fear. And 
when youth listeners are in fear of uh, exposing themselves, the only way to do it is do it. Yeah. <laughs> I know this sounds so stupid, but I have been pondering about it and, and, and I had been postponing uh, my exposure uh, because I was so fearful and the moment someone gave me a push in the back and said, that's your deadline. Yeah. And I did it anyway. Such a huge relief came over me, really. I, it felt as if I dropped a rock from my heart. I yeah. started floating. Um, it felt so liberating. Yeah. Just passing that fear. And you know what? It's not fearful. And when you pass the fear, it's not the fear anymore. Yeah, yeah. And that Conquer is so beautiful. It, and that is so beautiful about the fear. It's not real. Yeah. Yeah. A fear is what we have in our head. Yeah. So when you pass that line, it's not there anymore. Yeah. So when I experienced that the first time, I thought, I can do that again. <laughs> oh, yeah, what you do once, you can do it twice and a thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. And with everything, yeah. you only need that one first experience. So if you're feel fearful, take one thing that may be doable in your eyes, yeah. and do it go through it and yeah. learn from that experience and then apply it to something that's a bigger uh, a challenge and it works it works like nothing okay really. i love it so just go yes. through the fear do it one time yeah and yes and you yes. know the more the more you do it the, you know the more the fear subsides and yes. you know there's always there's always a chance and i don't want to lie about this at all because you know i we just had this today mary claire didn't we we were trying to get on adobe connect oh, yes. and we couldn't get the sound to work the video didn't work you know yeah. all that if you're working in the virtual space, every single day that you're in it, you're going to experience technical difficulties, yes. you know, whether it's your internet connection or the technology you're using or the person on the other end, you never know. And the yeah. same, the same mm -hmm. with webinars. And you just have to kind of have this like, you know, kind of a playful attitude and just go for it. Right. Hey, and no one's dying because mm -hmm. you get, can get no. the phone going you know no no one is dying because you can't get the phone going but you know people could be dying on the inside yes. if you don't reach them with your yes. um, getting yes. chills yes. With, with your coaching with your expertise with the mm -hmm. thing that you you do in this yes. world right mm -hmm. yes and so you know go for it i love that mary claire thank you so much i i'm I feel like this is going to be so inspiring to so many mm -hmm. people who yeah, hear about so. the way you're working. Yes. And yes. I love that we could talk about like all the different ways you're using the online space because you know I'm really passionate about that to help. Oh yes, you, to help, you are. To help your clients. <laughs> so what you know, just just coming to a close. What? How can people find out more about you as a coach and what you do and your programs? Where can they go? And what do you want them to know about you? Well, first of all, there's my website, and I created that website myself because I wanted it to stand out from the crowd, and I made all the pictures myself, But and I put up content there where people can get started. If they are just getting into raw food and they don't know what to expect, you know, they can explore the raw food yeah. world on my website. That's ravishingraw.com. Ravishingraw.com in English, yes. In English. And um, yeah, the website is in English because I'm going, I'm global, so it's the global language. Um, so that's where they can go and they can pick up my recipes, they can pick up uh, the first guidelines to get started with, how to get started. Yes. And they can also read uh, about my my story there, yeah. what I went through, they right. can read my interview that I did and that really is an, a comprehensive explanation of what I do and how I do it, how I work, yes. with whom I work. And um, the other thing is, well, they can go to my Facebook page, it's Ravishing Raw Fan. Ravishing <laughs> uh, Raw Fan, okay. Yes, that's uh, my Facebook, my business page mm -hmm. actually, where I put up content yes. every day or every two days. Just, it's a little bit, but, or a picture or a recipe or a quote. Impulses. And yes, just anything. So, um, yeah, what, what else? They can... They can email me if they have an issue going on and they are not feeling sure how to resolve it. They can email me and we will schedule 
a free chat. It's free because I do want to offer that opportunity to get to know me better in person on the phone or on Skype. And then we just talk uh, about the challenges they have. And they, I'm, I, we feel, is there a vibe between us? Is, yeah. it, is there a click? Because I want there to be a click to work together. It's Absolutely. important for both of us. And um, I'll see how I can help the person, uh, how I can do it, you know? And if I can't, I will always tell because yeah. I, I really want uh, to be clear on that. It's uh, it's about serving people. Yes, really. So that's how they can connect to me. And my email address is mariclaire at ravishingraw.com. So they can always email me there. Okay, mariclaire yes. at ravishingraw.com. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mary Claire, thank you so much for, for showing up today and taking this time to talking with us. I'm so excited about it. And yeah. maybe we'll end the conversation with a virtual high five. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so thanks for listening in again. My name is Shelia Stevens from ShellyaStevens.com. Uh, you can jump on over there, too, and find more of these interviews. So I'm going to be holding another one today and in the next coming weeks and posting them online. And we'll see you online. Bye, guys.